Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life, and in today's film we're driving from Coval Bay Strip to uh, Paphos via Cloaca. And we're currently going past the uh, Cali Resort and Spa, which is in the process of being renovated. Uh, according to their Facebook page, it is all due to be opening on May the 31st. Let's have a map. This is where we start, and we head down to CU Beach Bar before taking the uh, inland route to Lempa and then through Cloaca and finishing uh, just as we get into Old Town Paphos. So if you're booked for the Cali Resort and are a bit concerned about how they're progressing, don't listen to stuff you hear online. Just contact them directly and ask. If they have a Facebook page. Try contacting them from there. Or even better yet, track down a phone number and phone them up and ask them. Or talk to your tour operator. But if you listen to any uh, too many stuff on Facebook, you'll never go anywhere. That's my conclusion. Now, watch this. Wasn't that spectacular? My number one tip for driving in Cyprus is to never ever assume anything. That way you won't be taken by surprise. Anyway, enough of their skills. On the left here we have Philippos Supermarket, which is one of the more popular supermarkets in the area. It's a huge place actually. There's also uh, DIY and I think they've even got a furniture place now. On the right you've got the Cobble Bay Strip itself. That road we just passed is a good way to go if you want to get access to some of the restaurants uh, while it's still being renovated. Though if you're coming in the summertime that will all be over and done with but anyway. So. And uh, in that case if you're here in the summertime you'll be turning right here. But you can't do that at the moment. And that's the turning to Payo on the left. And just down here on the right is the start of the Coal Bay Linear Park, which we featured a while ago. I need to return there to see how the work has progressed. It might have been finished even. And if you saw our A Corsos film recently, that's where we came out. And now we're driving through Potima Bay. Uh, as I said before, the new me, uh, the new, what's the word I'm looking for? Marina is uh, due to be built here at some point in the next 4,000 years, if it ever happened at all. That's a running joke in the fact that I think you'll probably get someone who's been here since the 60s and they'll tell you that they had plans to build the marina back then. It seems to have just gone on forever and nothing seems to happen. To be quite honest, I hope it stays that way because it's a lovely stretch of coast as it is. And uh, if they plonked a marina here, this road would be a lot busier. And I know if you're looking at it at the moment, it doesn't seem to be that busy, but in the tourist season, this road can get chock-a-block. And soon we'll be at CU Beach Bar. And uh, just before that, there's a parking area where lots of people go to photograph the sunset because it's a very good spot for that. And the beach over the last few years has gradually got more, I wouldn't say civilised, more, what's what I'm looking for? Well, well, put it this way, like a few years ago, it was all rocks and gravel mainly, and now there's uh, more sand and deck chairs appear. I think there might even be a lifeguard station there now. but it's certainly uh, more of an attraction than it used to be. You know, there was a lifeguard at least, no, I just saw it. Which is good, because they do have riptides in the area, and you should not ignore the riptide signs, because they have taken people's lives in the past. Right, we've gone past the CU Beach Bar now, and in the previous film we carried on this road and went all the way to Paphos along the coast road, but we're going to turn left up here, and head inland through uh, the villages.
Here we go. There are lots of banana plantations around here, which contrast nicely to all the uh, vineyards that you get up near my neck of the woods. I noticed that a lot of the uh, tours stop at the banana plantations. It struck me as a bit weird because there's not a lot to see there. Unless you're unlucky and you're treading a tarantula. Anyway, we're coming into Kisonaga now. That's the sign for it. And remember, if you like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel as it really does help YouTube promote us. And if you want to help us financially, then go to our pathoslife.com slash coffee page and you can either send us coffee or click on one of the affiliate links. Now we're coming up to the more built up part of the village. I'm never sure really whether it's a village or a town. They don't seem to have that distinction so much as they do in the UK. There's the main square is on the right. And if you take this turning on the left here, it's a nice little shortcut to get you up to Tala. I think I filmed the route in the opposite direction in the past. Judy's bar on the right and now we're in uh, if you like the main drag I think there's new vets up here on the right a big building some building it because we used to take our daughter to a little art college in Kisonaga and they were building that as we uh, went home and from Kisonaga we'll eventually hit Lemba it is confusing actually because there's a Lemba and the Lemba and sometimes it's Lempa and Lempa uh, but they're not the same place, if that makes sense. They are two distinct villages. I think this is still Kisonaga though. I could be wrong. And the road forks in two here. And if you're heading for Northern Paphos, you can go left and it takes you through uh, Lemba, or Ember. I think it takes you for both, actually. <laughs> it's very confusing. But, uh, and then you can get to, uh, sort of like, the roads that lead to the uh, little traffic lights area of Paphos, as opposed to the uh, Old Town area, which is where this road eventually comes out at, as you will see. Now that sign there is definitely for Lemba here. And the next point of interest, so to speak, will be, uh, I'm not sure what its official title is, whether it's the Lemba Art College or the Cypriot Art College. But uh, it's famous for having some very uh, unusual sculptures outside it. Uh, it had recently been fenced off but then the fencing had been removed and I had hoped that all the work that they had been doing had been finished. But as you'll see in this film, the fencing is back again. We're going to take a slight diversion to see it. So I don't know if you can wander around the ground. I mean, there's not, not many grounds to wander around, uh, but it's well worth it. I mean, even just coming to have a look from the outside, it's very unusual. 
I don't think you can get into the gardens at the moment. And beyond that boat you see over there, there's a nice little park which is fun to walk through. Especially if the flowers are in bloom. I'm trying to remember what the flowers are. They're a very famous type. I think it's morning glory, I seem to think about it. There's a happy Easter sign we just passed under. And now we're back on the main road that we just turned off. Heading into the main shopping area. We're still in Lemba officially because uh, the Cloaca border is just after the Papantonio's, according to the map. You can see Papantonio's on the right. It's like they're equivalent of Sainsbury's almost, and they even sell Sainsbury's products. And most of the parking for Paps is on the left there. And that's not parking there with the car showroom. On the left here, you have Computer SOS. And we always give them a shout out as we go past. They've been advertisers stroke sponsors of our site since we started. So. Also, they, they're a very good shop anyway. Uh, I took a friend of mine there whose printer was on the fritz. Uh, and he was looking to get a new printer, but he got a new toner cartridge instead from there. And... Uh, it was a little bit more expensive than the last toner cartridge he had bought from elsewhere, but it was a genuine product. And he put it into his printer, and he decided after that that he didn't need a new printer. All he needed was a decent toner cartridge. So basically, they saved him a fair bit of money, and they gave him a decent product. And aside from buying stuff, if you've got a broken bit of kit, they have uh, no, rep uh, no fix, no fee policy. So... If you're going to chuck it out, at least take it down there first and see what they have to say about it, because they could save you some money there as well. Anyway, oh, plus they're nice people as well who run it. Uh, we're just coming up to traffic lights. Uh, if you go left here, it will take you up to, uh, I'm trying to think, a shortcut I often use for getting avoiding the centre of Paphos. It's not that good a shortcut at the moment, though, because it's uh, closed half of it because they're doing some uh, roadworks on something. And if you go right down there, it'll take you into the heart of Cloaca. Yes, we're now in Cloaca, I should have said. On the other side of Paps's, it goes from Lemba to Cloaca. And this is a... Is it a town? I would say it's a town, to be honest, because it's, it's big enough. I mean, there's this as a main road, but there's also another uh, main road below it. And they, the two will merge later on, but they both got quite a number of shops and businesses on them. Plus the odd uh, restaurant and takeaway as well. In the past, I've done a loop that goes around the whole area so you can see it more clearly. But there's a turning that'll take you back on. If you go down there, you'll go through, I suppose it's the traditional village centre of Cloaca. And it eventually pops you out back near uh, Lembo Art College. Now we're coming into Paphos itself. And on the left, up ahead, you'll see one of the, uh, I think it's 12 gateways to Paphos that they were built in uh, 2017. There it is on the left. And they have put it all the, on uh, all the roads that come into Paphos. Uh, from the various directions. Uh, they were built before the Yoskapu bypass. So if they want to be complete, they really need to stick one there too. So that would make it 13. Which I'm not sure about Cyprus and their superstitions. And on the left, just up ahead, we're going past an old Turkish Cypriot graveyard. Not there, it's just beyond it. They're doing some building work there. There we go. There's the graveyard. 
And on the right is how you get to uh, Cloaca Greenpoint, which is like the recycling centre. And this will take us down into Old Town. We're not going to go for Old Town now, but uh, I'm going as far so that you can connect it up with previous driving films that I've published, so you'll have a bit more of an idea as to where you are. See, the turning left here takes you up to the little roundabout, and we'll be finishing at the traffic lights uh, where if you carry on this road you'll end up uh, in the main old town Ring Road and if you go left you'll be in Papandonio's. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next film.